What's up, Spud Nation? Happy Wednesday to everybody. Hump day. Get over that hump. Get that week done as soon as possible. We're going to finish up the NFL draft rec recap slash grading, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's been a great time. NFL draft. I love it. It's been some great drafts, but... These final three teams, man, they hit it hard, and they did a very, very good job. The great teams just getting greater and getting better, doing what they do. That's why they're the great teams right now. All right, we're going to get rolling, but first, do you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up, Craig at thesportscoach.com. That's my email. I love hearing all your input, your questions, your comments. We'll do it up, do it the right way. Sports Couch, it's all for you. That's what the website's all about. Getting the information from me to you. Enjoy. Here we go. New York Jets with pick number 30. I graded them out at a B plus. I loved their draft. Started off going Muhammad Wilkerson, D tackle out of Temple. Big dude. 6'5", 305, athletic as can be. Gets after the quarterback. Can eat up space. And you know what? With the Jets' injuries at D-tackle, you can't do any better than this. Great pick by the Jets. You're going to love them there in New York. Third round, they go Kenrick Ellis. D-tackle out of Hampton. 6'3", 320. You talk about a space eater. This dude demands double teams. He had 94 tackles his senior year. Let me repeat, 94 tackles from the defensive tackle position. Seeing double teams. This guy's a beast. He can eat up space. He'll tackle you. He is going to be a nice fit for you, Jets fans. Fourth round, they take Bilal Powell, running back. Louisville, he's 6 feet, 215. Kind of started his career off slowly, but he had a big senior year. Uh, he's a good receiver out of the backfield. He'll be a nice fit, third down back, something like that. And a nice project for you New York Jets. Fifth round, Jeremy Curley, wide receiver, TCU, 5'10", 192. Uh, more or less, he's going to be used as a kick return guy. Put him back there, very shifty. Uh, he ran a 4'6", so not the fastest guy. But he's shifty. He'll do what he does. Uh, he's a nice kick return guy. And in the seventh round, they put the ball on the tee and they hit a home run with Greg McElroy, quarterback out of Alabama. One of the smartest guys in the draft, if not the smartest guy in the draft. He's not going to kill you with his amazing athleticism. He's not Cam Newton, but my goodness, this guy is efficient. He showed that in two years at Alabama. Efficiency is the key. Puts up great numbers, very few mistakes, and it just does a lot of stuff the, the right way. Mark Sanchez, I hate to say it, you might love him in New York. He is mistake prone. You put a guy like Greg McElroy behind him, he's going to push him. I love it. Great pick by the New York Jets. Uh, great amount at a B plus. I thought top to bottom, they filled needs. They had a great draft and stealing McElroy in the seventh round. Very nice. Great job, New York Jets. Pick 31, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm giving them an A. I, I love their draft. You think Pittsburgh, you think defense, the steel curtain. Yeah, they're a solid defense right now. Let's see if they got any better. Cameron Hayward in the first round. You all remember Ironhead Hayward from the Saints. Big old moose of a running back. Well, this is his kid, Cameron. D lineman, Ohio State. Versatile player. Can play nose tackle, can play outside. He's 6'5", 288. He fell so far in the draft because of his inconsistent play. He shows flashes of being one of the best players in the draft class and then flashes of just being a normal, average player. So, if Pittsburgh can bring out the greatness in this guy, they found themselves a dandy. Second round, they get Marcus Gilbert, offensive lineman out of Florida. 6'5", 320. He's experienced. One of the most experienced players in this draft. 
Um, he can play any position on the line. And a 6'5", 320-pound guard is a nice fit. Pittsburgh building around their center, Mr. Pouncey. I like it. Third round, they go Curtis Brown, defensive back out of Texas. Six feet, 184 pounds. This guy is an absolute stud, and for him to fall to the third round, Pittsburgh, you found a gem. This guy is amazing. You found yourself a keeper. Look for this guy to push for starting minutes over there in Pittsburgh. Fourth round, Cortez Allen, defensive back out of the Citadel, 6'1", 197 pounds. Very raw, very raw player. I love his size. I love his speed. His skill set is really raw right now. Humongous upside. P Pittsburgh, you have the depth to work with this guy and develop this guy. But it's awesome to see that a guy like this has the right fit to be successful. His upside is tremendous. This guy, three, four years down the road, could be a Pro Bowl player. Very nice pick, Cortez Allen, D-back out of Citadel. Fifth round, Chris Carter, outside linebacker slash D-end, prototype, 6'2", 240 pounds, looking to get after the quarterback. Sixth round, Keith Williams, a guard, 6'5", 310 pounds. He's a smart player, a strong player. He lacks that athleticism that he's going to need pulling in the NFL. And in the seventh round, they go Baron Batch, running back, Texas Tech, 5'10", 210 pounds. All in all, I love Pittsburgh's draft. Uh, took some shots at the right moments with guys that they can develop. Hayward should step in and start right away. Uh, and Gilbert, I love how they're building their offensive line. I'm giving them an A. Great draft, Pittsburgh. Continue to get better. And the Super Bowl champs are on the clock. Get your title belt out, Aaron Rodgers, because the Green Bay Packers, they hit a home run with this draft like they've done. Ted Thompson, what more can I say? You are an amazing guy in the draft. We wonder, oh my goodness, he's trading draft picks, dropping in the draft. He knows what he's doing. I, that's all I can say. Great job. They get an A on this draft. First round, they go Derek Sherrod, tackle out of Mississippi State, 6'5", 305, played left tackle his whole career. This past season, he didn't give up a sack, which is almost unheard of in the SEC. Great stat to know, protecting Aaron Rodgers. Could he be the left tackle of the future? Probably. Studly pick for the Green Bay Packers, and to fall to 32 in the first round, very nice. Not the most sexy pick, not the glamorous pick, but he's protecting your franchise and he's protecting the champ. Aaron Rodgers, protect him. Great job, Derek Sherrod. First round pick for the Green Bay Packers. Second round, they get Randall Cobb. Donald Driver getting older. James Jones, who knows if they're going to re-sign him. Randall Cobb, wide receiver out of Kentucky. He's 5'11", 186, runs a 4'4", Great in the kick return game. Great hands. Runs great routes. Uh, Going to be a nice fit in Green Bay. Third round, they go Alex Green, running back, Hawaii. Six feet, 220. Reminds me a ton of, like Steven Jackson. Same hair, same everything. Great speed. He's a bruising back. Looks to get contact. Look for this guy to push for the starting job in Green Bay. Ryan Grant coming off injury. Who knows who else is going to be thrown into the mix. But listen to this name, Alex Green. Packers will find a way to use him. Phenomenal pick. Fourth round, Devon House, defensive back, New Mexico State. New Mexico State has never been very good, but this guy was their lone bright spot. Six feet, 182 pounds, physical corner, exactly what Green Bay is looking for. Fifth round, DJ Williams, ten, tight end out of Arkansas, 6'2", 245, 4640, superb value pick right here. Fifth round to get this guy, a lot of people had him very high on their mock draft boards. I like it. He won a big tight end award, just great value here. And you know what? The Packers, they always find ways to use their tight ends. 
Sixth round, they got three picks. Caleb Schlaughteroff, outs, or offensive lineman, Utah, 6'4", 302. He's a guard. Packers looking for depth. Always injuries on their line. DJ Smith, linebacker, Appalachian State, 6'1", 235 pounds. You might not have heard of this guy, but he led the country in tackles. He is a wrap him up guy. He hits you. You're going down. Uh, look for this guy to push for a starting spot as well. Ricky Elmore, 6'5", 255-pound D-end. He's a smart player. He's a sack artist. He finds ways to get to the quarterback. His big knock is that he lacks that athleticism that every team is looking for. Again, another guy that put up huge numbers, but got knocked way down on draft boards because of his combine athleticism numbers. Combine, pfft, Throw it out the window. I think it's a big joke. Teams put way too much emphasis on that stuff. Look at what he's done. Look at his past body of work. This guy has done very well. So another guy that the Green Bay Packers steal. Seventh round, two more picks. Ryan Taylor, tight end out of North Carolina. Look for this guy to not be a tight end for the Green Bay Packers. He's played fullback. He's played tight end, and he's played linebacker. Look for him to play linebacker in the NFL. He's only played one year of tight end in his life. That was last year. It got him to the NFL, but the Packers, they'll find a way to hybrid this guy. And in the seventh round, they also took Lawrence Guy, defensive tackle, Arizona State, 6'5", 300 pounds, a nice guy to just plug the middle. Green Bay Packers, I love it. They got depth. They got guys that can step in and start right away. Uh, all in all, just a phenomenal draft. And you'd think picking 32nd in the draft, yeah, might knock the talent down a little bit. They might not know what to do. Might get second round talent in the first round. The Packers did an amazing job. Not much more I can say. Green Bay Packers, the rich just keep getting richer. Looks like they're primed and ready for a repeat Super Bowl run. There you have it. That is the entire NFL draft. 1 through 32, we hammered it out. You know what? Some teams did very well for themselves. Some teams just absolutely bombed. We'll see how it all turns out. Those are my grades. If you disagree, let me know about it. I am all for fan input. All right. Tomorrow we're going to have to hop on the NBA draft, I think. Find something new to talk about. So, enjoy. NFL, get your act together. Till tomorrow, Spud Nation, enjoy. We're out.